You guys know when Nintendo does stupid shit and you don't know why? It's usually the most illogical thing that they think of. And you're wondering, why did you think of this? Well, today we have another example for that. This is going to be one of the two videos that I make about Nintendo raking on the DS, while the third I'll give my whole intake on the new 3DS thing. And speaking of new 3DS, what is this video about? This is about how they're taking the cable out of the 3DS, the one that they're using to charge the system that usually you buy with every mobile device. They always come with a charger cable. They're taking it out. And the bullshit is not the fact that doing this. The bullshit is the fact that they are the reasoning that they're giving behind it. So basically they had an interview with IGN and I don't have the interview on me so I can't read it. But basically the idea, the reasoning behind it is... For anybody who has a bunch of these cables lying around at home, and who's obviously bought previous Nintendo DS's, they all work. So let's save them the hassle and sell the cable separately so the person does not have to buy another cable or have another cable just hanging around. Now, there's a couple of problems I see with this. One, their reasoning is complete bullshit. I don't think that they're doing this to, you know, sell. I think they're going to maximize profit off of the cables. Because what happens to people who do not have a Nintendo product already or Nintendo DS? It, uh, that would suck. Imagine if you're a little kid, a little Timmy, who just got a Nintendo 3DS with, for, um, for a birthday gift or something. And you open it up, and you find no charging cable. You start playing the thing, and the thing dies. You go to parent, you go to your parents and says, Where do I charge this? Where do I charge this? And next thing you know, there's no cable. And then your parents got to go all the way through the hassle of buying one online or buying out of the store, and then finding out that, oh, shit, they're sold out because everyone bought them. Why not just include the thing in the first place, Nintendo? It's not that much of a loss. I mean, it, in fact... I know a lot of people don't like having a whole bunch of cables lying around, but think of it this way. If you have two systems, say you've already bought the 3DS, which I have a 3DS, um, and I want to use that cable for that one, and I want to have a spare cable in case my cable somehow gets ripped, somehow gets in the, you know... Uh, messed up or something, or I'm going to sell my other 3DS to a friend and that cable is going to be there, I can at least give him that spare cable. But with this case, I am forced to just continue using one cable for two systems. And I understand probably most people won't be using their other DS once they get them, but there's people on YouTube that I see having collections of 3DSs and a whole bunch of other stuff. I, I, I don't get it. There's not really much to talk about it, except they're probably going to sell the cables about 10 to 20 bucks a pop or other stuff. And not to mention that they're going to be making money with the, those uh, new skins. Now, the system looks clean. I'm not going to lie. That system looks pretty nice. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm going to buy it right away. But I still actually have to watch the uh, direct thing that conference that came out and i'm going to be giving my thoughts on that but uh yeah why don't you guys just include your cables it seems completely illogical like every device out there phone tablet comes with a cable and they're not really that expensive to make all right guys this is going to be the end of the video if you guys like the video please leave a like please leave a comment and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future i will talk to you guys soon goodbye Don't let them